Hello, Gemini, Gemini rising and Gemini moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting November, not November, December 4th, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Geminis out there, remember if you ever want to get a session, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. It's a self-schedule program. You can schedule your own session or you can order a downloadable video file. I'm thinking a lot of people emailing all over the dang place uh, you know, inbox here, Scarlet Moon Facebook page. No, 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 no don't go to those places and try to get an appointment. You got, you got to schedule it. Okay. All right. So let's move on. What's going on with your astrology this week? Well, on Wednesday, we've got Mercury recently retrograde in your seventh house of partnerships. This is your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships. Your boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, husband, wife, roommate, forming a very helpful, believe it or not, sextile to Mars currently in your fifth house of love and romance and relationships with your kids. And <clears throat> when it comes to Mercury retrograde, sextile to Mars, we have help um, coming to us from the past. Uh, this could actually be an old best friend, uh, an old roommate, an old business partner, um, and they are helping us with some kind of creative project or perhaps even helping us when it comes to um, you know, finding love, finding a, a, a lover, or perhaps even helping us with a matter relating to one of our children. Mars is also a very, very powerful and helpful planet in this sense because Mars is sort of like the warrior. It's the, it's the one who will defend you um, on, on a blood oath. So this could actually be, you know, perhaps an old BFF from childhood or again, something like that who kind of comes in and helps you solve a problem that maybe you and a partner are having a hard time solving. Maybe again, it's helping you get some insight into how to talk to one of your kids. Uh, maybe there's a fight between you and a lover um, or a crush, and we need that advice, we need that mediator. Mercury retrograde sextile to Mars, help is on the way. On Sunday, however, we do have Venus recently in that seventh house of partnerships, uh, in, the, in the seventh here, forming a square to Neptune, currently in your tenth house of career. And whenever we have Venus square to Neptune, we have to concern ourselves with excess and make sure that we don't jump into excess. Uh, or habit-forming activities. Now, with Venus square to Neptune, this can indicate a very, very time-consuming activity or practically a ritual that could be um, a, a new mainstay or has the potential to be a new mainstay at the office. Um, this may be a new policy, this may be uh, a very, very needy client or a customer, or possibly um, a potential business partner uh, that you would meet probably this week uh, or even early next week that you do not want to actually take on. Uh, sometimes with Venus square to Neptune, we see issues where, again, it starts to consume other areas of our lives and it becomes very, very high maintenance. It's almost like a, ne you know, a negative, addictive uh, kind of energy. Um, again, if you're already in talks with a potential business partner or you've already had those kinds of talks, you know, even going back uh, months ago, that, that person's okay. But beware of anyone brand new coming on the table. And be certain around that time as well not to sign any kind of contracts or bind yourself to this kind of, again, high maintenance, needy, whatever this is. For your spiritual advice, when it comes to your cards, we do have the card of the king. Authority and diplomacy is the prompt. This is a week where we need to not be afraid to have difficult conversations, Gemini. If you are somebody who may have a lot of, you know, maybe, maybe you might feel conflict-averse sometimes, you know, and I think that with the, with the king, it's basically saying, this is a week where we need to be able to kind of hammer out conversations and dialogues so they are done and gone and taken care of for good. You know, usually with the king, authority and diplomacy is talking about resetting rules this week. It's also about making sure that we're having our meetings and our check-ins you know, whether it's family meetings, business sit-downs, check-ins with the partner, whatever, you know, because the king is talking about, again, not just letting any elephants sit in the room. Sometimes it's easy to do it. Sometimes we, we, we let ourselves think that in some philanthropic way, uh, philanthropic way, excuse me, it's the, it's the considerate thing to do to just let that elephant sit there and take up all the space. Not when you get the king. It's basically saying here, you know, be prepared. There may be some people who don't react well to this. Some people don't like having that thing brought up. They don't like it called out. They don't want to talk about it. They want you to ignore it for them. That's also codependency. But with the king, we have a chance to solve a long-standing issue that nobody knows how to solve this week. But we do need to bring it up. 
For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, reversed. And again, a need to pay attention to where there is some kind of investment opportunity um, or some kind of new uh, job or new, new uh, prospect that we need to get rid of, okay, or ignore altogether. There's a warning about a bad investment of time and a bad investment of resources. And again, I think it's talking a lot about that Venus square Neptune towards the end of the week. The Seven of Pentacles reverse can indicate, however, in good news, that we are also dropping a burden this week. We are releasing something that has become uh, too much of an expense to tolerate, uh, possibly an expense that, you know, will be saving us hundreds, uh, you know, every month, possibly even getting something written off. Some of you may actually find some good luck uh, finding out something has disappeared off a credit report. Um, I've seen that happen with this card several times when I do readings for folks. And the nice thing with the Seven of Pentacles reverse is it is freeing you up. For those of you looking for a new work or wondering about promotions and jobs and things like that, your initial intention, your initial goal may not necessarily be the one you receive, because the Seven of Pentacles Reverse may actually drop that and take it away, because a better replacement will also be in the offering. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, do you have the Nine of Cups reversed? And the Nine of Cups reverse can indicate um, a need to kind of correct maybe a communication meltdown, but it can be fun, it can be humorous. Again, appreciate nuance, don't go black and white. Don't go black and white. I already know somebody heard retrograde and saw two reverse cards, so they already think it's a bad reading. It's not. The Nine of Cups reverse is basically saying we're getting a lot of yes answers and cooperation from friends and family this week. In fact, we have a lot of gift giving, people going out of the way to do things for us, people going out of the way to help us. But the thing is, the Nine of Cups reversed is that we're, they're taking everything we say extremely literally. Um, and again, it can be kind of humorous. It's more or less paying attention to where are maybe some of the, the conversations we're having with people that maybe we're asking help from or we're giving assistance to or we're, we're, we're confiding in. Maybe we're speaking a bit too subjectively, a bit too impression, with, with, with a bit too much impressionism. And the Nine of Cups reversed is basically saying, you know, we could actually be getting a lot of our wishes granted Yes, but be careful, again, if we don't mean things literally, don't say them like we mean it literally. This week you actually do have a lot of good energy coming from this position of your cards, and even if you are trying to get other people's help, or you're trying to get other people's cooperation, you do have it. you just got to be a responsible delegator. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the tower card reversed. Another card that's not so bad when it's reversed, nor when it's a challenge. The Tower card reversed, however, does indicate that you is your challenge. You need to leave other people's problems to themselves. All right. Sometimes it's way too easy to want to go rush in and be the conquering hero, or just to be the savior for somebody else. But there may actually be some battles that a person needs to fight on their own, or a lesson they need to learn because they may have brought it on themselves. And the Tower card reverse can indicate bad news about a somebody else in your life, a friend, a family member, somebody close. Um, and it's not happening to you. Remember, you are a bystander with the tower card reversed, but it does look like you, you, you're almost going to want to run in and, 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 and stop something that needs to actually come down, okay? Um, don't save the, the toxic relationship. Don't say, you know, don't pull, you know, don't help somebody keep spending money on something that's sucking them dry. Don't encourage people to go back to the school or the class uh, that they're getting nothing out of. You know, your challenge this week is to understand where maybe, again, you have to be there to pick them up when they fall, not to hold them up so they don't. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, you do have the Justice card, reversed. And um, this card's kind of interesting, because there may be an issue going on with uh, a partner or a crush or somebody that you're seeing. Um, and with the Justice card reversed, there is uh, there's something going on where like, a promise is being broken this week. Um, and I'm not sure if they're breaking this promise with you, or if you just simply get a weird feeling because you notice them kind of breaking a promise to another person, and that can say some things as well. They may not be breaking a promise to you. They could be, you, you may be catching them breaking a promise to their father. You may be catching them breaking a promise to their friend. And the Justice card reverse is saying something really fishy is going on with this. And, you know, we may have to do a check-in with our partner to see if they're really okay. They're acting a little bit out of character. Sometimes the Justice card reverse can also indicate unfair treatment. Um, then you may be noticing a partner starting to behave strangely where maybe they're favoring one of our kids over another one of our kids, and that's never a good route to go down. Um, or perhaps they're in a situation where uh, they're kind of taking away, um, you can notice them almost like 
maybe deceitfully in, in a certain way, dis distancing themselves from people that used to be their nearest and dearest. Um, this does raise a red flag as far as what could be going on within our partner. And again, with that authority and diplomacy king card, I think a check-in is necessary. Hopefully they're doing okay. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.